to God. Amen. Because what's got to happen? That's part of God's plan to protect you. It's part of God's plan to make divine provision. It's part of God's plan. Why? Because he loves you. It's part of God's plan because the love brought you in covenant with him. And now as you walk in covenant with him, the love and the covenant brings up glory of God, God himself. Come on, y'all ought to receive this in Jesus' name. Glory to God. God working. Come on, thank the Lord. Say it's got to break. Come on, say it's got to break. It's got to break. Come on, it's got to break because God's in love with me. My God, my God. God is in love with me. I'm in covenant with the living God. I'm in covenant with the God that can hear me. I'm in covenant with the God that I can call on, and he'll show me great and mighty things. I'm in covenant with the God who will come and be with me. If a man love me, my father will love me. Then me and the father. What? What? Then me and the father. You ought to wave your hands right there. You would have confessed it for seven months. What happened in the presence of God? This man in world can come in 19 stay in your presence. Where is prosperity? Now that, how, is, is, how can anything that defiles stay in your presence if God shows up, saints of God? It's the greatest gift. Lift your hands. It's the greatest gift. It's the, that's, I run to this place because he's the living God. I run. I run. I run. My clothes are already sitting to the side. I know he's going to wake me up. And when he wakes me up, I'm running. Because he loves me. Come on. Because he loves me. I've got covenant with him. And now he shows up. Now guess what happened? Now in his glory, what's on him? Now gets on me. I got the anointing. Come on. I got the power of God. And because of the anointing, I have the anointing to declare that this is my jubilee. I have the anointing to declare vengeance on COVID-19, vengeance on depression, vengeance on sickness, and vengeance on diabetes, vengeance on COVID-19, vengeance. Because I've got the anointing. Because what's on God? God on me. Lord Jesus. Somebody ought to wave your hands out. Come on, praise him in this house. What's on God? When you're getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, what's on God? When you're praying in the Holy Ghost, what's on God? It's now on you. Lift your hands and receive it. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Call, speak to yourself. Call your name. Tell yourself, you're anointed. Destroy yokes. Remove burdens. My God, in the name of... Look it up, look it up, look it up. Look it up, 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 look it up. You tell it what to do. Take authority. You tell it what to do. My God, the anointing. My God, the anointing on Wednesday. My God, then what happened? Divine restoration. Oh, wave your hand real good. Stretch about wide. Stretch about wide because he said it's so big that you can't handle it. Oh, my God. Don't you know how many years some of y'all have left? And what's got to happen is God is literally allowing COVID-19 to run folks out of positions so you can run into it in the name of Jesus. Let them run scared. They don't know the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. They're running out. You run in. The restoration. Oh, the restoration. Some of you ought to receive this for your loved ones, your spouses. Come on, your children. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to do it. So that you will know that I am God. Hallelujah. Receive it. Receive it. Divine restoration. And then now your relationship gets so close. Your relationship gets so close that God say, all God got to say, you, you, you. 
Mr. Coach. Now, now you're sensitive to it. <laughs> you can't get the secret till you get sensitive, folks. See, now you're sensitive to him. Now he's saying, <laughs> you. Who was that? <laughs> come on, come on. And then what happens is you get sensitive. And now you become attractive. God said, I got to go tell. He said, I can't do this unless I tell Abraham. Could you believe God say, let me go down there and tell him. Call your name. Come on. They, they don't see this. They don't see this. Let me show them what I, let me show them. Can you believe God say, let me go down and tell. Call your name. Everybody else looking with their eyes. Come on, you said what happened to David, didn't you? Come on. Everybody else, look with their eyes. Everybody else taking in all the bad news. Because you got to take in some news. And they taking in all the bad news. But you ought to give God glory today that you taking in the good news in the name of Jesus. And you're going to activate this good news. And you're not going to lose this good news. On Monday, you're going to pray. On Monday, you're going to prophesy. On Monday, you're going to give God praise for his love. Thank him now for his love. In the name of Jesus, on Tuesday, you're going to pray. You're going to prophesy. You're going to praise him for the covenant. You've got a covenant with the living God. You are part of God's covenant plan of redemption. He used Abraham. He used the Jews. And God is now using you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, give God praise now for that covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. And now since you have the covenant, God say, let me go on and sit down with him. Now God shows up. You ought to wave your hand for the glory of God, for the glory of God. Darkness is on the people. Gross darkness on the folks. Darkness is all over the earth. But God say, let me come in your presence. Let me work. Let me work. It's got to break. It's got to break. When you let God work, it's got to break. Give God praise right where you are with your hands lifted. And thank him for his presence in the name of Jesus. Everything changes in a moment in the presence of God. Begin to thank the Lord right where you are. In Jesus' name. And because of his presence, because you're in his presence, now what's on God gets on you. And now the anointing of God is upon you because the Lord has anointed you. You declare in Jesus' name your freedom. You declare your enemy is defeated under the anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Give God praise for that anointing. Receive it. Destroy yokes while you're thanking it. Remove burdens while you're thanking it. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. Now the anointing is all over you. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to God. Now it's time for divine restoration. Oh, my God, the years, the things that you've gone through, the loss that you suffered. God said in the worst of time is the biggest blessing. Peace that surpassed all understanding. Receive the restoration, not just of things, but also things not seen in the name of Jesus Christ. Give him a thanks right where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Now you have become sensitive to him. And because you're so sensitive, you are now attractive to him. And now he wants to open up and give you his secrets. He wants you to know the mysteries. He wants to tell you something that nobody else can see. God is opening doors that no man can shut. He shut the doors that no man can open. I don't care what they said they're going to do to you, but the Lord is on your side. You have a covenant relationship. Receive the covenant promises of your God. 
your father, your creator, in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive the covenant promises. I receive the covenant promises. Just worship him a moment. Come on. I receive the covenant promises. Come on, they're divine. Come on, you got to activate them. Come on, glory to God. Tell yourself right now, call your name. Say, you will not be lazy. You will not be undisciplined. You're going to activate this every day in the name of Jesus, that God will bring this to pass, that you're going to see it, you're going to enjoy it in Jesus' name. Thank you right where you are. Just wave your hand. Just wave your hand. Thank you right where you are in Jesus' name.